The URC is back for round two. That is right, we're storming through these rounds. It feels like yesterday we're in the final, but we are in round two of the new season. And round one was really, really good. And um, we've also got the inclusion of the South African teams being back, which is really good to see. Um, and yeah, so let's just get into the action. There's a few games going on later today on Friday. I did hope to get this up yesterday, but due to other problems that have nothing to do with the YouTube stuff, then yeah, um, I didn't. But we we got it in well in time for the games, so that's all that matters. Anyway, let's go. So starting off, we have Leinster at home to the Dragons. Now, um, both teams won their first games. Leinster just about managed to withhold a late Edinburgh comeback. Dragons completed their late comeback and scored a last-minute try to beat Ospreys last week. Um, is it the Aviva Stadium? Because the RDS is it been done up or something, isn't it? So is it the Aviva? Um, I don't really see Leinster having many problems here, if I'm going to be brutally honest. Um, yeah. I think Leinster should sail this game without many issues, unfortunately, for the Dragons, but that just looks like how it's going to go. Um, yeah. Leinster win that one. Next up, we've got Glasgow against Benetton. Um, this could be a really good game. Um, you know, Glasgow succumbed to last minute Ulster try last week, and uh, yeah, after probably shouldn't have wrapped up that game fairly earlier on with how Ulster were playing. Um, they'll be a bit disappointed with that. Benetton had to scrape a late try to draw against Scarlets. So, again, both teams probably losing games you you didn't want, they didn't expect to. Um, but the back up and on, and it's at Scotston, where I saw a stat that in the league season, without thinking about playoffs, Glasgow haven't lost at Scotston in the league since October 2021, which is mental. Um, so, yeah, um, I think Benetton could give them a game, but I don't see them giving them any problems. Um, Glasgow at Scotstown's just another animal. It really is. So, yeah, I think Glasgow shouldn't have many issues there. Moving on as we move to Saturday, um, and here we come with some of the South African teams. So we've got the Lions home to Ulster. This is a weird time kickoff. This kickoff's at... 11.55 here in the UK, which is a bit strange. Um, it's usually a bit later, but fair enough. Um, this is in South Africa, um, which you might think that's why the times are weird, but South Africa only about an hour ahead, so it's still, you know, just before one o'clock kickoff, which is still quite early, but hey ho, we've got rugby all throughout the day. Um, Lions versus Ulster. Um, now, the, the South African teams, I think, I'm not sure what to think of them at the start of the season. Um, if if you were a European team who's having to go to South Africa at the minute, now's the time. Because they'll still be missing some of their major internationals due to the end of the Rugby Championship, which concludes this week. Um, so a few of, them, few of the major players for each of the teams will be missing. Um... Although the Lions at home seem to be pretty decent, and I think they are on the up, I do expect them to get a result against Ulster, though. And yeah, so I'm going to see the Lions for that one. Next up, we have a game that always delivers well, again in South Africa. We've got the Vodacom Bulls hosting Edinburgh. This game is always really good to watch. Um, it's quite, I think, two out of the three times it's been played, it's been fairly high scoring, and there's always been... Losing bonus points, so it's usually quite high scoring and usually pretty tight. Um, usually does go to the home team though, so I think the Bulls will win. Um, but I'd expect it to be a good, probably a bit of a try fest. Um, Edinburgh Bulls seems to be a try fest quite often. Um, yeah. Moving on, we have Zebra at home to Munster. Um, Zebra and Italy are a bit weird. They can sometimes pull off some decent performances but usually the bigger teams won't have many problems and Munster are one of the bigger teams funnily enough so yeah I do think Munster will have this game under wraps although these are the games where Zebra could turn around and shock everyone and um, you know if Zebra could start off their season with you know they, they ran Cardiff close last week so 
if they can start it off with running Cardiff Colson and maybe getting a result against Munster, I mean, that, that'll be really good for them, but I just don't see it at this stage in time. I think Munster are just slightly too strong. Next up, Scarlets at home to Cardiff. Um, Cardiff are actually top of the league at the minute after their win over Zebra. Um, Scarlets drew to Benetton last week, so both teams playing and getting some form of result, at least, against an Italian side. Um... I mean, these Welsh derbies are, are quite hard to predict. Is it Parker Scarlets in Linlethley? I believe that's how it's pronounced, so I pronounce it. Um, so, home advantage Scarlets, however, who absolutely knows? Cardiff didn't look bad, to be honest with you. I'm tempted to side with them because they actually were decent. Although Scarlets are one of those teams that you just never know. They could win this game by 50 points, they could lose this game by 50 points, it's anyone's game, so I'm going to say Cardiff but I'm not sure next up we've got Connor hosting the Sharks now Connor actually did lose to Munster last week um, which again it's expected but it will hurt them, you know, all Irish Derbies are fought well um, yeah Sharks I believe didn't they they just won the Curry Cup, didn't they, the Sharks? So they're actually coming off a little bit of success already this season. They'll be looking to improve on a poor season last year in the URC anyway. I know they won the challenge, so they are actually in the Champions Cup this year, but um I do believe Connacht will actually take this. I think the Sharks they are decent, but they've got too many internationals. I believe quite a few of them are playing against Argentina. For the well, that is a title decider, but I, I, I don't think um, Argentina South Africa will have many problems, they just need to not be thumped by Argentina, don't they? Um, yeah, la and then last but definitely not least, we've got the Ospreys at home to the Stormers. Um, yeah, the Stormers are one of these teams that they, they, they can come to. To Europe and get wins, but Ospreys are one of these teams that you never know. I mean, this is one of those ones. Stormers away from home or up in Europe, and Ospreys—they're both teams that you just can never predict. Um, I am going to actually go with a home win for Ospreys. I do think they're going to need a statement win. You know, they—they they, they slipped up to the Dragons in the first game, which, from their standards, will probably be disappointing after just about clinching top four last, top eight last year. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I do think they will look for a big statement when to get the season back on board. However, Stormers, again, they'll be looking to get their name on the board and start moving after not playing in round one. Anyway, there is the prediction. So I've got Leinster to beat Dragons, Glasgow to beat Benetton, Lions to beat Ulster, Bulls to beat Edinburgh, Munster to beat Zebra, Cardiff to beat Scarlets, Connacht to beat Sharks, and Ospreys to beat Stormers. Let me know what you think. Last week for the predictions was a bit mixed. Um, obviously, we've not had all the games played from round one as the South African teams, teams are still to play each other. But those games usually don't play until about February, so we don't need to worry about them yet. Um, I believe I dropped three from six, so I'm only on three out of six at the minute. So not amazing, not amazing so far. But again, it could be five out of eight, which again into thing of... Mm. But yeah... That's what I'm, let me know what you think and I shall see you later.